constant function and polynomial function and properties of polynomial function if you haven't checked that video go check it out in the top right corner of the video in this video we are going to learn about algebraic rational irrational exponential and logarithmic type of functions Algebra means there will be a basic operations like plus, minus, into, subtraction and some operations like root power, square root and there will be polynomials applying all these. Now an algebraic function is representing the algebraic equation formed by algebraic operations, polynomials as a function. Okay. Here we can use divisions, powers, square roots, and so on. This is an algebraic function. For example, you can take f of x is equal to 1, f of x is equal to 1 plus x, and it will be raised to power 1 by 2. 1 by 2 which is nothing but square root of 1 plus x may be in this form or may be in cubes and it may be divided this is called an algebraic function now here in algebraic function we can use polynomials too so all polynomials are algebraic uh, all algebraic are not polynomials Okay, now let's take rational functions. Okay, let what is a rational function? As it denotes rational, what is a rational? Means an value or anything in form of p by q. The same goes here also. Let there be two polynomials p of x and q of x, then the rational function is the division or ratio of those two polynomials and the denominator should not be zero so q of x is not equal to zero now what is the domain of a rational function now as we all know in rules of finding domain we said that if two two functions are divided then the domain of those functions is intersection of domains of two individual functions minus where g of x is zero the same goes here the inter the intersection of two domains minus set of values where q of x is zero okay let's take an example of two polynomial functions first function is x cube plus x square x cube plus x square minus 3 divided by another another polynomial x square x square minus 2x plus 3 now the domain of this function is real numbers minus the value where the denominator function is 0 ok now let it is a irrational you know that any value multiplied by a rational power some val some values multiplied by a rational power for example 2 power 1 by 2 3 power 1 by 3 4 power 1 by 5 something like that now using those all rational exponents in a function is called as irrational function the basic irrational function is 
f of x is equal to x power 1 by 2 or root x. Still, you can use division, subtractions, additions, any algebraic operations in this function. Okay. As the name denotes identity. What is an identity function? In an identity function, there will be only one variable x which is not multiplied divided by anything. Identity, only a single function. It will, the identity function is f of x is equal to x. This is the identity function, a straight line function. It can extend from minus infinity to infinity, having range minus infinity to infinity. Okay. Now, here the domain is minus infinity to infinity, but in an easy way it is denoted as domain domain belongs to R and range belongs to R. Okay, now. As the name tells, a function with a variable in exponent means let's take an example to understand it well the basic form of a exponential function is f of x is equal to f of x is equal to a power x a power x now we can take any value in place of a for example let's take f of x is equal to 2 power x this is the graph of the function f of x is equal to 2 power x. Okay. There will be, you can take any value in place of a. As you all can see, the domain, the domain of this function is, it extends from minus infinity to infinity. So the domain of this function is minus infinity to infinity. As you can observe, as you can observe, the range of this function is, it stops at 0. So, the range of this function is 0 to infinity. Or, it can also be denoted as all positive real numbers. Belongs to all positive real numbers. Now, the next day. As you all know about logarithms. Logarithms are denoted as log with some with some base and some value. Now, the functions with logarithms are called as logarithmic functions. Okay, now let's take an example of a logarithmic function. The basic form of logarithmic function is log x base a. a value of a logarithm is not defined, then the value of a is 10. Okay, now let's take an example of a logarithmic function. Let's take log 2. Or, okay, let's take. Let's take log x. As you can see, this is the this, this is an this is a mirror of this is a mirror of exponential function. As you know, logarithm says if a power x is equal to y, then log log y base a is equal to x. So in this function, the domain is, as you can see, direction from 0 to infinity. Means, the domain of this function is positive real numbers. Now, the range of this function is, it extends from minus infinity to infinity. So, the range of this function is minus infinity to infinity. Okay, this is for today's video. If you like the video, hit that like button, smash the subscribe button. If you have any doubts, comment down below. I will answer them in the next video.